If you keep your boat in the water at least part of the year, it most likely has one or more coats of bottom paint to prevent marine growth. Sooner or later, anti-fouling paints lose their effectiveness, which means that new bottom paint needs to be periodically applied. For this video, we assume that you will be having your boat hauled out at a boat yard and that you have permission to apply bottom paint and do other work yourself. You should ask if they will allow you to bring bottom paint into the yard from an outside source. Yards that allow this will often tack a surcharge onto your bill for every gallon you use, so make sure you know the policy in advance. Before your boat is hauled, you should purchase the basic tools you will need and the protective gear that you will wear while sanding and painting your hull. These items include a paint tray, tray liners, roller, disposable chip brush, and protective gear such as a Tyvek painting suit, gloves, head sock, goggles, and if you plan on applying a solvent-based paint, you should also pick up a respirator. For more details on how to prepare your haul out, click on the link to our helpful West Advisor article at the end of this video. Let's assume you have a 30-foot boat with a hull in good condition and that apart from moderate sanding, the only thing you need to do is apply bottom paint and complete a few other minor tasks. For this, most people need about five days. On day one, your boat is hauled and the hull should be pressure washed with the boat in slings. The yard will then move your boat to its temporary home where the keel is blocked and boat stands are placed. Don't attempt to adjust the boat stands. If adjustments need to be made, let the experts at the yard handle it. At this point, there may be enough time left in the day to prepare for new paint by sanding the old paint that remains on the hull. Bear in mind that you often do not have to remove all of the old paint so long as the new paint is compatible with the old paint. The link to our West Advisor article at the end of this video also provides guidance on paint selection and compatibility. You can remove some of the old paint or otherwise prepare the surface by wet sanding, dry sanding, or if you need to remove all of the old paint, by using a chemical paint stripper. But before beginning, double check with what the yard allows. Day two will probably be taken up with additional paint removal or surface preparation by wet or dry sanding. Again, make sure you know in advance what type of sanding your yard allows. Environmental regulations in many areas require that toxic runoff be contained in a catchment basin. For this reason, the yard may not allow wet sanding. Also, for environmental reasons, where dry sanding is allowed, power sanders are frequently required to have a vacuum attachment to catch toxic dust before it enters our air or waterways. Once you have removed the old paint and sanded the hull, it's time to clean away sanding residue by wiping the hull down with an appropriate solvent. Hopefully, towards the end of day two, you will be ready to tape off the waterline of your boat with masking tape. Be sure to use a quality masking tape that won't tear or leave a residue when you remove it. Once you have masked off the waterline, you're ready to paint. If there's enough daylight left and the temperature warm enough, go ahead and apply the first coat of paint. Drying times and recommended thinners vary, so be sure to read the can's label and thoroughly understand the application instructions. Water-based paints emit almost no solvent smell compared to solvent-based paints that require the use of a respirator. On day three, apply the second coat of bottom paint, then follow up with a third coat on high wear areas, such as the bow of your boat and the leading edge of the rudder and keel. Save a small amount of paint for day five. Day four is crunch day, the day you must finish the bottom painting and take care of other tasks like rubbing out the hull and then applying a coat of wax, installing anodes, and if necessary, repacking your stuffing box. If you just bought the boat, now is also a good time to change the hailing port. We suggest you enlist the aid of your significant other or one or more of your crew. Do your utmost to have everything done by the end of this day. On day five, you can unveil your work by pulling away the masking tape and admiring your gleaming top sides and freshly painted hull. As the travel lift approaches, be ready to apply that last bit of bottom paint under the keel which you could not reach when it was on the blocks. Your boat is now back in the water and ready to go. What do you want to see next? Leave us ideas for topics, projects, or activities you want covered in the comment section below. Check out the full West Advisor article in the description or click the button in the upper left corner. Be sure to subscribe, and as always, we'll see you on the water.